Hi, I'm Carrie Noonan from the Core Division, and I'm going to share with you some of the ways I've been using Jamboard in my virtual class meetings. When I'm in an in-person class, I love using whiteboards uh, and during group work, and I was looking for something similar in a virtual classroom environment. And so I've been using Jamboard, which is part of Google Suites. Let me share with you some of the ways that you can do that. All right, so Jamboard. How do you find Jamboard? Where is it? Well, if you go to your calendar or your email and you click on the thing that gives you all the Google Suites options, you can find it right here. As you can see, I've got a lot of Jamboards. Uh, you can make a new one like this. Um, you can set a different background if you want. Um, you can put, uh, use sticky notes. Can I spell? Yes, I can. Um, you can do it like this this, you can move these around, you can make them bigger, you can tilt them, you can write with a pen, which I'm not that good at, but you could do that. Uh, you can add images over here, you can do all sorts of things uh, in a Jamboard and you can create new frames. So how is I using this in my course? Well, first of all, I put, um, I make a different Jamboard for each of my classes and I have it be the same Jamboard every week. And then I, in my Canvas course, I put a link to the course Jamboard right here so students always know where to find it. It's always the same one. Before class, I set up the Jamboard as I need it or want it, which means erasing what we did the week before and setting up for what I want it to do this week. But that way it's simpler for the students and it's easier. So this summer, uh, in my Core 330 class, we were talking about the Uyghurs and the Tibetans and how they're treated by the Chinese government. So I put students in four breakout rooms and each breakout room had um, a slide with the title and their group on it like this. That's what I had set up for them before we started. And then in their breakout room, I told them, I want you to pull out ideas or concepts that you find intriguing or that were new information for you. And then uh, talk about it together and make notes uh, of your conversation on the Jamboard. So they're both talking and they are uh, creating notes like they would write on a whiteboard in a classroom. And as you can see, some of the groups were a lot more text-based and some of them were a little more visual. And then I would bring everyone back into the main room. I would share my screen, which was on the Jamboard, and I would say, all right, group one, uh, give me three things that you talked about here and tell us why you thought they were important. And group one would talk about it and then we'd talk about it as a whole class. And then I would say, all right, group two, give me three things from what you put up here and uh, tell us why you thought they were important and we would do the same thing. Something else in this class that I would do is uh, we were using one theory a lot within the course to analyze things. And so I made uh, frame five, always had this on it with the five parts of this theory. And sometimes I would say, all right, in your breakout rooms, everybody, I want you to apply Adam Chow's five modalities of doing religion to the video you watched for class. And they were able to go to this frame and remind themselves what that theory was and then apply it in their conversation. Sometimes I would mix it up and I would say, all right, groups one and three, you're in separate breakout rooms, so they're not talking with each other. But I said, use the same Jamboard frame here. In group one, use orange stickies. In group two, use blue. And that way, although they're talking together in their own groups, they're also seeing what the other group is posting. And sometimes that can create some interesting uh, they can inspire each other in some ways. So those are some of the things I did with that class. With my first years, they were reading a short uh, newspaper article, the COVID-19 freshman class. So I put them on one Jamboard frame and I assigned each Jamboard breakout room, they had three of them, a uh, separate color. And I said, stick with the color of your room. And they were talking together again in their separate rooms, but they could also see what the other groups were posting. And sometimes that would create some interesting uh, cross communications. Another thing you can do is if you have a really long reading, in my China class, we have this reading here. It's got five main parts. So I made a frame for each of the parts of the article. And I told each group, all right, group one, you're yellow, group two, you're pink, group three, you're blue, group four, you're green. Each group has to talk about that section of the article and they have to put two ideas or concepts that they pulled out that they thought were important from that section of the article. So every group had to do this for each one of these five sections. And as you can see, sometimes they're, uh, they're being separate, sometimes they're building on each other's ideas, sometimes they put um, a nice visual in there, uh, and then we would come together as a class in the large meeting 
and um, talk about it together. So these are some of the ways that I've used uh, Jamboard in my class, and I hope they've been helpful.